So as long as it doesn't go to decision, we are good. And as you can see, I tried to hype up the fight in the weeks coming till. Didn't really do so. Uh, fight hype low. But it is my debut, you know, whatever. Um, 101 peak fitness. Uh, so I'm feeling really good. I think we're going to win. I think we're going to dominate. The only chance, uh, decision is how are we going to finish it. So we're just going to go right into the fight here. I like those blue trunks, honestly. Olivia, wow, and this, this is, wild. is your UFC Minute. The UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. When UFC President Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local welterweight circuit en route to his octagon debut this weekend. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he was discovered on Dana White looking for a fight, and man, did he come through with style points that night. As such, here he is, making his UFC debut a few short months later, and the question beckons, will there be jitters? We hear a lot about those UFC nerves, and sometimes it leads to an adrenaline dump, and that can be the difference in a win or a loss. So if he can bottle the nerves and deal with the bright lights of the famed octagon, there is no denying the skill set, the skills, the demeanor. That's what got him to the big show. We'll see if he can perform now in the UFC. brought out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts maybe more than we should but this guy fits the bill maybe doesn't stand I like out in one area on film but plus skills everywhere and you gotta think tonight Joe with his skill set he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes if he needs to stand and strike he can do it if the fight hits the canvas he can submit you a lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man this guy is a very well-rounded fighter he can do it all if the fight takes place standing or on the ground he's going to be comfortable in all areas of the game For this welterweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, making his UFC debut here tonight. He's at 61 inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, C.M. And now, his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of four wins, four losses. He stands 63 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, the Mahina. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? All right, ready to go with live action here from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. All right, here we go, early round one. As many of you know, this is his UFC debut. He won his fight on Dana White looking for a fight, and Dana gave him the UFC contract. And this is a legitimate challenge here. No easy outs in this division. We'll see how it goes for him here in his first UFC start. 
He's looking to take the back. Side control. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, reversal. Very nice sweep. Winds up in his Looking guard. for a guillotine. He's in full guard here, looking for the guillotine choke. What he needs to do is, he needs to wrap his arm around the back of his opponent's head, slide his forearm underneath the chin, then he needs to clasp his hands together. That's it. That's it. And there we go, guillotine choke out, submission victory in Great the first job round. In establishing that submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He wanted to be efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the official decision. Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 54 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, that's how you seize the moment in the UFC debut as he gets the job done here tonight. And the celebration is on with his coaches and his teammates. 1-0 in the big show. Can't start much better than that. No, you can't just wish it was knockout. Get knocked out of the night, but that's fine. I'll take a submission victory for my debut. That raises heads. from that too all of a sudden I have money performance of the night really oh there we go performance of the night it was with the submission victory wow I got muddy to spend now. Give me those fighters. <clears throat> We're going to simulate the recovery real quick here. Let's see what kind of fights we got here. face this guy more hype a little bit more hype mr. Igor Ribeiro it looks like
I gotta buy this. Oh, I messed up. 